were really fun. I didn't expect to get through to the semi-final, so I was just trying to enjoy it as much as I could, just thinking that it would be my last five dives in the Olympics as well as my first five dives. And then when I got through to the semi-final, I couldn't believe it. Went to the semi-final, had nothing to lose, so I just went and enjoyed myself even more and got a good result. Well, when you stand on the board and that many people cheer for you, you don't really, like at that moment, you're not thinking about the dive. You're thinking, wow, oh my gosh, there's so many people. I love the noise, they're all here for me. And then when the whistle goes and there's silence, then you go into um, competition mode and then you just focus on the dive and you just forget about the whole atmosphere and the audience. So although you do get really nervous when you know there's so many people watching you, you just have to relax and clue into the muscle memory and you'll know you'll be fine. Yeah, it was, um, I don't really see her that much in competition, but just before I was preparing for my dive, seeing a familiar face, really familiar around me, knowing that she had to prepare as well and we were both like under the same pressure and we were both really nervous, it helped me to relax a bit knowing that I was more at home. And then after each dive I could cheer for Becky and then it helped me um, focus less on my dive and what scores I got, so it helped me move on to the next round. When I was in year four at school, um, Edwin, who's now my current coach, move, moved over from Holland and he started a talent identification program there and I happened to be one of the kids he was testing and I just passed all the tests and got into diving and then I loved it so I carried on. My family are really musical, so like we've all got grade eight in one instrument and my, both my sisters have got grade eight in two. Um, I did grade 8 violin and then grade 5 piano but I had to stop because of my diving. I still play them like recreationally and I was in the National Children's Orchestra for playing the violin so I really enjoy my music and it helps me to relax and focus and when I play the piano I don't know, like you go into your own little bubble and you forget about everything and it, I just really enjoy it. Like I really enjoy practicing things and then the feeling when you get them right, like it's really like fulfilling. And when you play the piano and you're teaching yourself something and then you finally get it right, I think it helps me when I'm diving because I know the more I do it, then one time I'll get it right and it'll feel really good. Uh, yeah, you have, to, you have to do it all for the preparation, but the circuits and stuff, that's only at the beginning of the season just to get you back into your fitness. And although we do all dread like the Tuesdays and the days that we know we've got circuit, but when we're doing them, we know that it's good for us. And afterwards, you do feel better because you know that you've got stronger. And um, I think, although that we don't necessarily look forward to the circuits, but we know we have to do it, and it's something that comes along with um, diving. So I think we all enjoy it secretly. <laughs> but.